Hello, my gorgeous Libras. This is Debs and this is your 2023 overview reading. Now, as you may well know, if one or two of you have watched the other 2023 readings, um, this may well only pertain to a small group of you, but I'm going to be channeling through somebody's story, okay? The way it's going to work is I'm going to be using the Tarot of Mystical Moments. I'm going to be shuffling the deck, laying out the cards for each month, um, moving into the Lighted Pathway by Lightworker Tarot and Oracle to give us additional information. And at the end of the reading, I'm going to be delving into three Oracle decks to kind of wrap things up, okay? Messages from the Divine. So this may be your reading, it may not be, but whatever this is, we're going to be starting. Here we go. Using a crystal quartz to help me connect through with Divine Source. And we will begin with, of course, the month of January. Here we go, Libra. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Libras 2023. And we're looking at energies, please, Michael, for the month of January. Thank you, Michael. Someone's running around. Somebody's very busy. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Libra, Ace of Wands. It's a good start. Wow, King of Cups, Libra. Someone coming in to express their feelings. Four of Swords. You may be contemplating how you feel after somebody opens up to you, Libra. Six of Swords. Now, that can be you wondering if someone here has moved away from another connection or whether or not you're going to get yourself into some kind of third party. I'm feeling that. You're nervous. Yes, you're nervous. The lovers. Could be a Gemini coming in. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a Leo with the sun. You're nervous you can't see exactly what this person is offering you, Libra. Wheel of Fortune. You may wonder if this is a destined connection. Should you move into a cycle with this person? The Hierophant, Taurus, or are they involved with somebody else? There's confusion here, Libra. But we've got some lovely energies to begin the year. Underneath the deck, the Knight of Swords. So Libra, somebody's going to be communicating the truth to you. Underneath that, we've got the King of Wands. Somebody's going to be admitting the fact that they have feelings for you, that they want to take action on you. You're going to be taking a few days to consider this, Libra, because you're not sure for some reason. Maybe you don't trust this person. Maybe you've just been badly hurt in the past. Maybe you feel that they might be still connected to somebody else. But I have to say, Libra, that this could be your own fears creeping in. You may be trying to receive guidance. You may be trying to use your intuition. I'm seeing somebody looking at this owl, owl of wisdom. Give me your wisdom. Should I move into a connection with this person? Is this a destined connection? Or is this person hiding the fact that there is somebody else in the mix? All right, Libra, let's get some messages. Archangel Michael, what do we have pertaining to January for my Libra, please? That wants to come out. There's a positive experience coming, Libra. Now that's nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Focused on work and money. Something isn't right. Okay. Is somebody wanting to build a business with you? Are you feeling that somebody's focused on your stability? Or this is somebody that may be rushing in, ace of wands, king of cups, knight of swords, I want to be with you. And you may feel it's all a bit too much too soon. 
You may feel something isn't right. Why is this person just really over the top enthusiastic about this? I'm hearing someone out there saying they weren't before. So this could be somebody reconnecting with you, Libra. Okay, so we've got Gemini, Leo, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Possibly Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There's something you don't trust, Libra. It looks fantastic, but there's something that makes you nervous. All right, so that's where our story begins. All right, Libra, are you ready for the month of February? Let's find out what's going on. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Libras. What do we have, please, Michael, for February 2023? I'm hearing slow going. I'm seeing somebody painfully trying to push a wheel forward and it's stuck. It keeps sticking. Yeah, they're just really struggling with this. Are you struggling moving into a new cycle, Libra? You don't trust it? Okay. Okay, Michael's saying cut. All right. Hope you can hear me, guys. Sorry, I hate to raise my voice or shout in readings. It's just not good for me. But anyway, there we go. Hopefully you can hear me. Oh, the devil. Mm. All right. Are we dealing with a Capricorn? Eight of Pentacles. If somebody is really wanting to work with you, build with you, somebody may be obsessed with your money. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the devil and the Eight of Pentacles. Or are you, Libra, obsessed with work and this poor person is trying to get your attention? Hmm. All right, five of pentacles. Somebody here is not doing very well financially. Queen of wands. And they see you shining your light. Or Libra. Don't want to be negative, but we could be seeing someone rushing in towards you, wanting to tell you they're passionate about you, they have love for you. But it could be that unbeknown to you, behind closed doors, they're left out in the cold from a Queen of Wands, who could be an Aries Leo Sag. And this is somebody obsessed with building on some kind of connection with you, but it may not be healthy. Eight of Swords. Whoever is sat in the energy of the devil is in their head. They also feel a bit trapped. Mm, seven of Swords. Libra, I don't like that. I don't like that. Ten of Cups. The Death Card. All right. Somebody may be feeling left out in the cold from an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius or a Scorpio. They may be in a long-term relationship with this person, but it's not working out. They could be having arguments about their financial situation. And this is someone who was trying to woo you, Libra. Underneath the deck, the Four of Wands. Do they see you sat in stability? I hate to go there, guys. Yeah, you've been working really hard. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles on building your foundation. Let's see what the Divine has to say. Archangel Michael, can we have your advice, please, for my beautiful Libras? This is February 2023. Thank you, Michael. More time is needed. You may look at this, but say to this person, you want to take it really slowly. Celebration. Is someone rushing towards you, Libra? With this air of, I want to take you out. I want to have a lovely time with you. I have feelings for you. I have passion for you. I want to celebrate with you. And this is you feeling very nervous. This is you tempted, Libra, to say, I'm sorry, I'm working. Does this person feel left out in the cold from a partner that they're with and they're attracted to you? Oh, be careful, Libra. 
This is somebody who may travel to you from a distance, or this is somebody who wants you to join them on a trip. Hmm, curiouser and curiouser, said Alice. I'm not sure about this, Libra. If this is somebody sat in the Five of Pentacles, can they afford a trip? Are they hoping that you're going to say yes to a trip and then they're going to get to, you know, check out of a hotel, not telling you they're with somebody else and they say, I'm sorry, I've left my credit card behind and you end up paying for it. I don't know why that's coming out. Be careful, Libra. This is somebody who I feel just wants to be indulged. I've got to be really blunt with you. I know that a lot of you are thinking, Debs, it's a bit negative. We got the Ten of Cups, you know. But that's what I'm feeling. Got the Seven of Swords and the Devil. That is not good. And the Five of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands can be the other woman. Hmm. Be savvy in February, Libra. It could be this person comes in, sweeps you off your feet, says, I want to take you away. I think we should have some time together. Little do you know, they're in a relationship with somebody else. They're not getting on with that person. And this is somebody who doesn't have any money. So were they relying on you to indulge them? This is somebody taking you out to a nice restaurant and then saying, oh, damn, I forgot my credit card. I'm so sorry. I'll pay you back, you know, and this is you thinking, OK, well, all right, no problem. But just be careful, Libra. All right. You could be male or female in this. I feel I'm connecting with a feminine, but could be connecting with a masculine. All right, guys. So that's what we have for the month of February. OK, Libra. We are into March. Let's find out what this person wants from you. Don't like the Seven of Swords, the Five of Pentacles. Mm. The devil. Okay, so Archangel Michael, what do we have, please, for my lovely Libras? This is March 2023. This is March 2023. Okay. Libra, I'm sorry, I'm getting kind of a weary type energy from you. Almost as if, oh no, do I really want this? Hmm. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, Libra, you're sat in the Nine of Pentacles. And you're sat in the High Priestess. What you're intuiting is, this is somebody who may just want a good time. I mean, in all fairness to them, they may have had a rough time. They may be single. They may have worked very hard over the last few months. They may be missing you. They may be in your area. They just want to see you, but you're nervous. You're nervous. Are they connected to somebody else? You're nervous. Temperance. I think you're going to sit in a temperate energy you may want to ask this person about a Sagittarius. This could be a Sagittarius. But with the energy of temperance, you're tempering the desire to ask some very blunt questions because you don't know for sure. You don't want to insult this person. You don't want to cause problems if this person is genuine. Three of Cups. This is someone coming back to you, reuniting with you. Page of Swords. This is you two communicating, but to be honest with you, Libra, I mean, this is your Swords energy, but this can be a difficult message of truth, which is you saying to this person, I'm not sure it's for me. Thank you so much for the invite. Thank you so much for saying, you know, you want to take me out. I just don't think it's for me. You may decide to push this person away. Hmm. Queen of Pentacles. You could ask the question, Libra, because you're sat in the Nine of Pentacles. Are you married? Queen of Pent Do you have a Queen of Pentacles sat at home? Two of Wands. You somehow have a sneaking suspicion, Libra, that this is someone who isn't single. Six of Cups. You're looking back at the past, trying to... Remember times that you spent with this person. Was there an indication, Libra, that this person was married before? 
In which case, if they're returning to you, has their situation changed? Are they married still? Underneath the deck, six of wands, do you think this person is simply wanting to win you? This is the energy of someone who wants victory and success. This is also someone who wants attention, wants adulation, wants to be noticed, wants to be successful. I'm just looking at that hummingbird sucking that nectar from that flower, just making me feel uneasy. All right. Yeah, we've got the devil again under that. Michael, can we have more clarity, please, from you as to what this is all about for my lovely Libras? So this person feels a very strong connection with you. So there is some kind of past life energy between the two of you. All right. This person wants to talk maybe about the connection they feel with you. What do they want to talk about, Michael? Making the first move. They want to talk about reconnecting with you. They want to get this up and running again, Libra. Yeah. They may say, Libra, I've been really missing you. But you may feel a bit emotionally withdrawn from this person. You're just not trusting this. I think you may put this person in the friend zone. And you're going to be contemplating exactly what they really want from you. So this is the starting block of a reconnection. So Libra, are you ready for the month of April moving into the spring? Let's have a look and see what's going to be happening. So Archangel Michael, what do we have please for my lovely Libras? And this is for the month of April 2023. April 2023. Thank you, Michael. I'm hearing one foot in, one foot out. I'm not sure. Okay. The Three of Wands. This is you contemplating a trip. Or this is you waiting for someone to visit you. Seven of Pentacles. You're working hard on your stability. You're trying to figure out the core root of the issue. King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Libra. Now, this could be you, but I feel this is your person. They're being very logical. They seem to be keeping an eye on you. You're working hard on whatever you do. Seven of Cups, they're fantasizing about you, about being with you. They're wishing on a star. The Magician. They're in manifestation mode, Libra. Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. They're trying to manifest the Ten of Cups. Long-term happiness. King of Pentacles. Love and stability. Six of Swords. They want to drop their anchor, but this is someone who is hiding the fact that they're not in a good place, Libra. And bless this person, if they're not in a good place, you know, that's not good for them. But we saw someone sat in the Five of Pentacles. We know you're sat in the Nine of Pentacles. This is someone who is wanting to drop anchor. They're wanting stability. And I think you're trying to figure out exactly what they want from you. What is confusing me, Libra, is I don't think this is someone who is purely wanting abundance okay because they are wanting the ten of cups which is contentment this is happiness emotionally this is happily ever after i don't see the ten of pentacles here for instance it may come out later but this is somebody who's just wanting to manifest a happy life they are of course also wanting to step into the energy of the king of pentacles which is somebody who is 
husband, maybe a long-term partner who is financially stable and they're wanting to drop anchor. But this is someone that is strategic. They're fantasizing about what it would be like to be with you. Underneath the deck, the King of Cups. Libra, this person does have genuine love for you. But I feel this is also someone logical. This is not someone living in fairyland. Let's get some messages. Archangel Michael, what do we have please for the month of April for my lovely Libras? What do we have for April for my lovely Libras? Focus on your goals. The divine may be saying, Libra, don't get caught up with this person. Yeah, focus on your goals, mitigate distraction. Don't be distracted from your work, Libra, or whatever you're doing by this person. Next birthday. So Libra, they could be contacting you on your next birthday. It could be this is somebody who is telling you it's their birthday and they want to be with you. What's next birthday all about? Next month. So somebody's birthday is next month. And I think this is someone who wants to come and see you with a view of working on a relationship. But why do I feel you're not sure? Okay, Libra, let's move into May. Okay, my beautiful Libras, let's have a look and see what May's going to bring us, okay? So what do we have, Archangel Michael, for my Libras for the month of May 2023? May 2023 for Libra, please. Thank you, Michael. Okay, guys. Six of Cups. You're looking at the past, Libra. You're remembering times you spent with this person. The Emperor. You're looking back, wondering if this person is still married for some of you. Ace of Pentacles. You're looking at the opportunity of building on this relationship. Two of Pentacles. But you're just not sure that they are actually single. The Fool. A lot of Aries energy coming through. You're nervous about taking a leap of faith and a risk. Ten of Swords. Because of what happened before. Now, is this person coming back wanting to take action, but you think they're still married? Okay. Ten of Swords, Three of Cups. This is somebody who is coming back to you, wanting to celebrate with you, wanting to have fun with you, wanting to pull you out of being on your own, maybe. The World. You wonder what this person's true situation is at a distance. What is their true situation? So Libra, you don't know for sure whether or not this person is still married, whether or not this person is dating countless people, whether or not this is a third party. So Libra, I mean, I know many of you are saying, well, surely you could just ask this person. Mm, I don't know if this is somebody who would tell you the truth. Yeah, underneath the deck, three of wands, you're thinking, is this person still connected to a third energy in another area? Yeah, there's going to be a message, but with the page of wands, you're trying to figure out, are they definitely single? Because on paper, Libra, this seems perfect. This is somebody who says they love you. This is somebody who wants to celebrate with you. This is somebody who wants to take a trip with you. They're pouring out kind of their heart, but 
This might be somebody that hurt you really badly in the past. This could be somebody that deceived you in the past. You could have found out there was somebody else. And you're wondering, well, are they coming back to me because they're now single? Or are they coming back to me just thinking, well, time has passed. Maybe I can pull Libra back into an affair again, you know? You're not sure. Let's ask the divine. Archangel Michael, can we have your advice, please, for Libra? This is for the month of May 2023. May 2023. All right, we've got an apology. So if this person didn't treat you well in the past or lied to you in the past, they're coming in to apologise. What they're going to say to you is, I didn't see that you were my person. I didn't see that this was a perfect relationship. I didn't see what I had right in front of me. They want to resolve the conflict. What is behind that energy, Michael? They want to put in the effort in getting to know you again, reconciling with you, smoothing over the waters. But Libra, this is someone that hurt you very badly in the past. Can you trust this person? Is this person angling to shift this into friends of benefits? We will find out, but you're nervous. I'm getting a lot of nervous energy. Looking at the past, remembering that this man you found out, Libra, was married with the emperor. You're now thinking, are they coming back to me to start a relationship or are they coming back to me because they want to juggle me with their wife? Shall I take a leap of faith and a risk or not? I know what happened in the past. It ended in the Ten of Swords. Are they playing the field with other people? Are they actually single now and dating? Are they connected with people all over the world? Is this somebody who is single now? Have they ended a relationship? Do they want a new start with me? You've got lots of questions, Libra. But it could be awkward because all this person is doing, Libra, is coming in, big smile. Hey, Libra, how are you doing? It's been ages. I'm sorry about what happened in the past. I felt a bit blindfolded, Libra. I should have seen that you were the one. I should have seen how special you were. I really want to smooth over the waters. I'm so sorry. I want to sort of mend the bridge with you, which is fine. But what does that mean? Mend the bridge. This could be somebody who is very, very good at expressing their feelings without giving you any information, you know? We'll find out, Libra. So, my beautiful Libras, we're into June. Mm. So we have somebody coming back to you who potentially wants to step up, energy of the emperor, but this is somebody who caused you the Ten of Swords in the past. You're trying to figure out what they actually want from you. So here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for being here. Can we have your advice, please, for my Libras? This is June 2023. What do we have for June 2023, please, for my Libras? Thank you, Michael. Three of Wands. Again, you're stuck in nostalgia now this person has returned. You're wondering if you could jump on that, whether you should jump on that ship. Is this finally your ship coming in? Is there a third party involved? Two of Swords. You're sitting in confusion, Libra. You're tempted to not have anything to do with this person. So something difficult went down between the two of you in the past. You're also trying to push down your feelings. You're very much in your head. Yeah, look at that. Because what you're remembering is this person brought a lot of heartbreak into your life. King of Pentacles. So Libra, again. 
Again, are they sat in the King of Pentacles? Are they still married? Are they not? This is somebody who seems to be elusive. So Libra, you could be asking this person questions. They may be pushing it under the carpet. Oh, I don't want to talk about that now. Oh, well, I'll explain later. Well, yeah, we've kind of broken up, but, uh, you know, I'm still trying to sort a few things out. Whatever they say, you're not going to get a straight answer from this person. What you're remembering is the heartbreak that you went through before. King of Cups, they're going to keep telling you, Libra, that they have feelings for you. Temperance, Sagittarian energy. I think they are initially wanting to mend the bridge, really smooth the waters over, apologise to you for what happened in the past and reconnect. But Libra, this has got you all up in your head and in your emotions and you're right back in the past thinking about how this person hurt you and you don't know what to make of this. Six of Pentacles. Is this person wanting to put in the effort? Is this person dividing the assets? I don't know, says Libra. Seven of Swords. Are they trying to be sneaky with me? I don't know. Libra, you may feel it's as simple as asking this person a question, but what I'm getting here is the energy of somebody very elusive, really evasive. Three of Pentacles, yeah, I mean, they want to rebuild the foundation that was cracked with you, but are they still dealing with a third person? I mean, they may say something like, oh, yes, well, that relationship is over. Yeah, and Libra's thinking, well, what does that mean, it's over? Uh, have you just had a row with your wife and walked out? Are you actually divorced? It's almost as if, Libra, because you haven't seen this person for so long, you may not feel comfortable in asking those really personal questions. But I think it's getting to a point, Libra, where you need to. You're going to be itching to. Because you're not getting a lot out of this person. All right, let's move into messages. Michael, what is this person's intentions? Okay, one card straight out. A decision is needed. Okay, Libra. They're trying to figure out whether you still have feelings for them before they make a decision to finally end another connection. They want your forgiveness. First of all, before anything else happens, they want to know that you have truly forgiven them for what happened in the past because they broke your heart, Libra. This is what you're thinking about. The Three of Swords has come out twice. We have the Ten of Swords, the Seven of Swords. I think they are wanting to know whether there's a chance with you. But first of all, they, they are rebuilding the bridge. They think that you two complement each other. They really feel that this could be a fantastic connection. What else are they thinking about with Libra, Michael? Okay. They know that somehow they're being selfish. What about? And they know they should really leave you in peace. So Libra, this is somebody with selfish intentions. Maybe they're just guilt-ridden. And they want to know that you've truly forgiven them when they broke your heart and caused you a lot of pain. Um, this is also someone who is potentially sitting in selfish energy. They want your time, your attention, your affection. They want to know that you've forgiven them. But I don't know, maybe the divine is saying to you, Libra, move on. Maybe they want to move on from being selfish in the past. Hmm. All right, Libra, let's move into the next month, okay? So, Libra, we are into July. Still don't know what this person's really wanting from you. Still don't know their true situation. They're being elusive. They're being evasive. You're not sure. Hmm. Let's find out. What's going on with this person, please, Michael, for the month of July 2023? Are we going to find out exactly what's going on with this person? 
Thank you, Michael. July 2023 for Libra. Here we go, guys. The High Priestess. I feel, Libra, that you're trying to use your intuition at this time. If this person asks you a lot of questions, Libra, you're not going to tell them very much about you. For instance, if this is somebody who's reconnecting with you, you're not going to immediately invite them to your home. Maybe you don't want to give them your address, you know, let them know your address, that sort of thing, initially. You're not revealing a lot of yourself because you want to find out, first of all, why they are coming back. Is it just because they want to say sorry? Well, why would they bother if they didn't want to start a reconnection with you again? They obviously have feelings for you, but you're, yeah, sat in nostalgia, six of cups. Why are they back? I think that you realise, Libra, they don't just want to come back into your life to say sorry. They've got something else that they are wanting to start with you, but it's still unclear. The devil. Mm, Libra. You're looking back and thinking how toxic this was back then. You may have had a wake-up call. You may have opened your heart to this person. You may be badly hurt and then realised, oh my gosh, this person was sat in toxic energy. You're thinking about that. Have they changed? For some of you, you're connecting with a Capricorn. The Emperor, again. Do you think this person is toxic? Do you think this person is still married? Hmm. King of Swords. Right, okay, so we have some truth at last. Maybe this is you, Libra, sitting in your King of Swords energy. This is you wanting to know why this person is really back. The Hangman. You're not willing to move to offer more of your company to get into anything intimate with this person until you find out more about them and their situation. Eight of Swords, you are right up in your head. You don't know what to do. The Hermit, Virgo Energy. What you're going to do, Libra, is isolate yourself from this person. If you don't get straight answers, if you find this person is just simply not really wanting to open up, brushing conversations under the carpet, mm, I think this is you potentially saying to this person, I'm sorry, but it's been lovely to connect with you. Thank you for your apology. Um, I've got a lot on in my life right now, so I think it's probably best that we leave it. You want to kickstart this person into really talking to you, really talking to you. Why have you come back to me? You didn't need to apologise if it's all over and done with. Why? Is it guilt? Is it remorse? Is it regret? Do you want to start something else with me? You don't know. And at this point, Libra, you're getting frustrated. Underneath the deck, the Queen of Cups. Now, the problem is, Libra, the problem is, is that either you still feel they're connected to someone, they could be still connected to a Queen of Cups who's a Cancerian with a chariot, or, Libra, this is you thinking I should move on because I'm just going to get my heart broken all over again. And I can't deal with it. Can't deal with it. It may also be a situation, Libra, where if this person doesn't live in your area, it's not as if you can go to this person's house and see if they're truly single. I mean, is there a wife sat at home? You don't know. Maybe this person is just here for a few days on a trip. So you don't know their true situation. They could be staying in a local hotel. Hmm. You're unsure, Libra. Let's get some messages. Archangel Michael, can we have more information, please, on the situation for Libra? Okay. This is July. This is July 2023. Wow. Okay, so we've got secret coming out. So something is going to be revealed. Think positive thoughts. All right, so there's something that's going to be revealed. 
And the divine is saying, don't think negatively, Libra. Think positively, okay? What is this secret, Michael? So a secret's going to be coming out in the month of July. Emotional withdrawal. So they're going to say at the present time, they're emotionally withdrawn. Why are they emotionally withdrawn? Because they're focused on work and money. Libra, I think we're dealing with someone who is ready to let go of a long-term relationship. I think they felt that they missed an opportunity with you. They want to come back into your life because they want to make sure that you've truly forgiven them, that it is water under the bridge, and I think they want to check if you're single. With that information, Libra, if you are single and you still have emotion for them, even though they broke your heart in the past, I think this person is going to reveal to you that they have emotionally withdrawn from their partner. They're trying to focus on their finances and their career. And they really just wanted to touch base with you. But what is underneath that is that I think this is somebody preparing to release a karmic partner to rebuild the connection with you. Okay. All right. So Libra, we're into the height of the summer. This is August. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's going to be happening for you in August and whoever the emperor is. Let's see. So Archangel Michael, your advice, please, for my Libras for the month of August. August 2023 for Libra. Thank you, Michael. Okay. Again, three of wands, my goodness. Still wondering if you should jump on that ship. Still wondering if they're with somebody else at a distance. King of Swords. Now, we may have the truth coming out. The King of Swords can represent a very straightforward conversation. It could represent the fact that you're thinking you have to sit in the King of Swords. Exactly what is your situation that you're in now? It could be this person says to you that they are seeking advice from a lawyer, maybe to detach from a karmic partner. The sun. Wow, Libra, whatever this person tells you is going to make you very happy, which could be that they are actually leaving their person. They are going through a divorce. They are moving into separation. Whatever this is, it kind of makes you happy. Now, for some of you... There may also be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini reaching out or a Leo, which could make you confused about your emperor. Ten of Swords. This person may be telling you they're ending things with a Leo or because this emperor has come back into your life, Libra, you may be needing to have a straightforward conversation with an air sign or a Leo, that you are not wanting to build a connection with them. Because otherwise this wouldn't make sense. Because I see you being very happy here. Five of Wands. Your person may say to you that they're facing conflict in their relationship at a distance. The sun can also be global travel. But this person with a king of wands is taking charge. Could be an Aries Leo Sag. With a knight of swords, your person's going to tell you, Libra, that they want to take action on you, but they have to tread carefully because they're dealing with a rather difficult, toxic, karmic partner. But they do want to take action on you. They are just having to be a little bit strategic with their person. But it's in the hands of the lawyers. That's what I'm feeling. Temperance. Okay, Sagittarian energy. I think, Libra, this is somebody who is asking you to wait for them. To wait for them to get out of another situation. Yeah, underneath the deck, you know you still love this person, Libra. Queen of Cups again. All right. 
So the truth is out. Here we go, guys. Let me have some more information for my Libras, please, Michael, for the month of August. Next month. All right. So something very significant is going to be taking place next month, which is September. Okay. And you're beginning to feel this has potential. What is taking place in September, Michael? Okay. This person may have to discuss with their child or their children that they are separating from their mother. They've been experiencing karmic lessons. They know that they are with a karmic partner. Next month, when maybe they receive more information from their lawyer, they're going to be letting their children know or their child know that... They're separating from the child's mother. Okay. So you have your answer, Libra. This is something you need to think about, possibly, over the course of August. Okay. September, Libra. Let's find out what's going on for you for September. Here we go. Archangel Michael, we'd like your guidance, please, for my beautiful Libras for the month of September. Your guidance, please. Thank you, Michael. Your guidance, please. Thank you, Michael. Okay. Gah, oh, guys, it's noisy in Nice, I tell you. <laughs> Sorry about the traffic. Okay. Page of Cups. Okay, so that's the child, possibly. The world. Wow. Now this is what's happening. So your person is telling their child that it's over with their mother. Now this could also be you wondering, are they telling me a little bit of a fish tale that their relationship is really ending? Because I don't know, because they live at a distance from me. How would I know for sure? Libra, you're still suspicious. Page of Pentacles, they could be telling you they're divorcing their person at a distance. They could be telling you that they are providing child support for two children. Ten of Cups. They're saying to you, Libra, they want to have the Ten of Cups with you. Oh, my goodness. Eight of Cups. What they're doing is they're telling you that they're walking away from their person and they could be relocated to live in your area. Two of swords, but, but look at you, Libra. You just don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. This person hurt you so badly in the past. You're really tempted just to say, I'm sorry, this just sounds way too good to be true. I can't do it. But you love this person, Libra. Queen of Cups. Judgment, yeah. You're going to have to make a really serious judgment call. This is going to change the course of your life and you know it. Sagittarian energy. Seven of Cups. Am I just sitting in fantasy land about this or is this real? Am I wishing on a star? Or is this actually happening? You're very confused and you're nervous, Libra. I would love to say that at this time you're bouncing up and down, you're super excited, you two are planning your future. But Libra, look at your energy. You don't trust them. You're trying to block your feelings. Are you sitting in fantasy land? You don't know. Underneath the deck. Yeah, look at that. Eight of Swords. That's the energy I picked up on. You're in your head. You're terrified that you're not going to be making the right decision. Underneath that, interesting, is the High Priestess. You're trying to use your intuition to get out of your head. Do you trust this? Do you trust this person? All right, let's get advice from the Divine. So Archangel Michael, can we have advice, please, for my beautiful Libras for the month of September 2023? For September, that wants to come out. You know there's a lot of passion and attraction between the two of you. That's clear. You know it. 
The divine is saying, stick it out, things will improve. Now that is a positive energy. Focus on your goals. So what the divine is saying, Libra, is try not to sit and stress about this. Try not to overblow the whole situation. Just let things naturally unfold. Focus on your work, focus on your goals and just give this time. There is attraction between the two of you. This person has told you that they're trying to get out of their situation. I think the divine is saying, don't sit in your head about this and have sleepless nights. Get on with your life. Keep in touch with this person and let's see how things unfold. Anything else here? You will be gaining clarity and wisdom, Libra, over the next few months, okay? Yeah, so just relax if you can, all right? So Libra, are you ready for October? Let's see what's going on for you guys for October. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for being here. Can we have your advice for my beautiful Libras? This is the energy for October, please, Michael. October for Libra 2023. Thank you. I'm hearing don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back at the pain and the heartbreak and the stress. Don't look back. Okay. Ace of Wands, okay, thinking about a passionate new start. Six of Cups, a lot of nostalgia, this person's come back, you're still very attracted to each other, you found out their situation. Yes, the world, this is somebody living at a distance but they're telling you that they've ended the situation or they're ending the situation they're in with a karmic partner. The Empress, yes, they're closing out a cycle with the energy of the world, with their Empress. Four of Cups, Libra, what's with the sadness? What's with the worry? You seem to be sitting in a lot of negative energy. You don't know if you want this. You don't know if you want this. Ace of Cups, Libra, you're turning your back on an Ace of Cups. Do you not believe this person? They do love you, King of Cups, Libra. They do love you. Temperance. Sagittarian energy. I think they're trying to give you time. King of Cups, Temperance. They're not pushing you into anything too intimate, too fast, too soon. Is this you, Libra, sat in fear? Be honest with yourself. It could be. What if it doesn't work out? What if they break my heart again? Can I trust this person? I don't think they're pressuring you. I think they are just wanting you to know what they are doing. So that you're fully aware of what's going on. <laughs> Libra, Queen of Cups again under the deck. You love this person. I mean, guys, you've got the King and Queen of Cups. You can't make this up. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, they're ending things with their Empress and you're sat looking at the past feeling worried. Ah, oh, Libra. Okay, guys, let's get some messages. Here we go. What do we have for Libra, please, Michael? Thank you. This is October. Work through your differences. Okay. So Libra, you need to let this person know that you're nervous, you've been heartbroken, it wasn't great before. You really want to trust them, but you're scared. I think Libra, it's now time for you to put your cards on the table. because They've told you their situation, they've opened up, they've explained, and I think now you need to let this person know of your worries, your fears. Because otherwise they're going to think that you don't have the same feelings for them. And you do. So, say it. Libra, this is you saying to your King of Cups, I do have love for you. I've never stopped loving you. I do want a passionate new start with you. But 
I sat in the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords and there was a little bit of Seven of Swords going on in the past. And it floored me and it took me a long time to pick myself up from that and I don't know if I can really trust this. Give me time. Speak to this person. You have to communicate at this point of time. This person wants to blend their family with yours. They could be asking if you want to meet their mother, their father. If they have children, they want to introduce you to their children. This is someone thinking very seriously, Libra. They want to take a trip with you. They may want you to visit them in their country. They may want to take you to their home to prove maybe that they are getting divorced, that they're not with their karmic partner still. Yeah, reconnecting. You two are needing to really reconnect, really reconnect deeply. So this is what's going to be on your mind, Libra, for the month of October. Okay, Libra, are you ready for November? Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's going on. Archangel Michael, what do we have for Libra, please, for the month of November 2023? Thank you, Michael. November for my Libras 2023. Thank you. And I can see two people sitting on a plane next to each other and the guy is squeezing this woman's hand. It's as if to say it's okay. They may be going to visit his parents or something like that, his children. They may be flying to meet her parents. This is a big deal, guys. This is a big deal. All right. The High Priestess. So Libra, you are needing to use your intuition. You could be connecting with a Pisces. You could have Pisces in your chart. Ten of Pentacles, you're trying to use your intuition. Is this person still legally in a long-term relationship? Are they really going to divorce? Because this is somebody who may have just started the process. King of Cups, you're thinking they do love me. I know I love them. But again, Libra, we've got the Four of Cups. What is that about? The Hierophant. Okay. You're absolutely convinced this person is not going to divorce. You think that they're going to reel you in and then drop the bombshell that they've decided they can't divorce in the end. And by that time, you would have met their family, they would have met your family... You know, it will be much more difficult to detach. Are you worried they're being strategic? You could be connecting with a Taurus. You're really relying on your intuition. You could be asking the advice from the divine. But this is religion, culture, community. Are you disappointed? If this person introduces you to their family, do you feel there's a big disconnect? Are they a different culture, different religion? Are you nervous about that? Knight of Wands. Are you worried that this has been fictitious all along? Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Libra, what you're going to be deciding to do is to say to this person, I do have feelings for you. I do love you. I'm so glad you want to integrate me into your world, introduce me to your family, your friends, your brothers and sisters, whatever this is. But I don't think we should rush into a commitment. Libra, it could be, and forgive me for saying this, guys, it's very strong thread running through all these readings. Libra, you may be sitting on the Ten of Pentacles, okay? 
if you feel there's any indication that this person is on the breadline, okay, he may come from a very poor background, you may think it's okay, we are in love, it doesn't make any difference, and it won't make any difference to you emotionally, Libra, but you may feel uncomfortable if you feel this person is really wanting to lock you down because you've worked very hard for your stability. Because Libra, you're sat in the high priestess, the ten of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. That's a lot of pentacles, right? So unless this person comes from, dare I say it, a very stable financial background, you're going to be a little bit nervous in signing on the dotted line. What you're going to say is, I work very hard for what I have and it's mortifying that I'm having to talk to you about this, but even though I love you, I don't want to rush into marriage. We can date, we can spend lots of time together, but I want to get to know you a lot better before we get really serious. Because the way this is going, Libra, what I'm feeling here is, the moment this person gets divorced, they're going to propose. That is the energy that's coming through. And this is you realising that. I mean, this is somebody who is introducing you to their family, their friends. They're introducing you to their kids. This is someone who obviously sees you in their future. And this is you getting a bit nervous. High Priestess, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so you're going to say, Knight of Cups, I do love you. And you do. Queen of Cups. But with a nine of pentacles, let's just take our time, okay? Underneath the deck, again, three of wands. Waiting for your ships to come in. Can't believe how many times that's come through. This is you just wanting to make sure you're making the right decision. Just that. It's just that. So Libra, messages from the divine for the month of November. What is um, Libra needing to know? Mm, okay selfish okay blending families emotional withdrawal They need help. Okay. Okay, Libra. This is quite serious because you know where I'm going with this, Libra. You know. I think this is somebody who is facing a lot of financial hardships. And even though you may love them and even though they love you, you're sitting on the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. You may feel that even though they have emotion for you, they see you bringing a lot of stability, not only to them, but maybe the rest of their family, because they're wanting to blend your family or you with theirs. Be very careful, because even though this person may have love for you, what they're thinking about is the stability you're going to bring to their family in the future. They need help. They need help. By your next birthday or their next birthday, you're going to realise this, okay? You're going to realise this. So Libra, you have quite a lot of thinking to do in the month of November. Libra, we're into December. Let's see how the year is going to end. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. Can we have your advice, please, for my beautiful Libras? This is December 2023. What do we have for my Libras? December 2023 in the situation. Thank you. I keep seeing that card, emotional withdrawal. Mm, okay. Six of Swords. Are you thinking of moving on, Libra? Eight 
Eight of Pentacles. Are you thinking of moving on and taking your pentacles with you? Three of Swords. Wow, Libra, King of Wands. Okay, your King of Wands is going to be heartbroken. Knight of Cups. Libra, you're going to express that you do love them. But with the moon, you're sitting in too much fear of putting your financial stability in jeopardy. Seven of Pentacles, you've worked so hard, Libra, maybe for some of you for years, in building up your foundation as a single person. And you're now realising that if you got really seriously embroiled with this person, in the nicest sense, you could lose half of your hard-earned money if it didn't work out. If, for instance, you guys got married or lived together for a long period of time, it would jeopardise what you built for yourself. If you have any doubts, Libra, and I think this is you having doubts, you're going to speak your truth. Page of Wands. You may be worried this person may have a child or children with somebody else. It may well be that you're nervous that you can't trust them if they weren't honest with you before. But ultimately, Libra, I think you're going to make the heartbreaking decision to say no. It's going to be a shock, a shock to them, a shock to their family, maybe even a shock to yourself, Libra. I mean, who knows? They could propose in December, you know, and this is you finding yourself saying, I'm sorry, but no. Underneath the deck, what do we have? We've got the Queen of Cups again, Libra. This has come out under the deck so many times. Again, we've got the High Priestess. But Libra, you are so worried that this is all going to go downhill and that you're going to be left an old maid and penniless not a single financially stable woman and you can't cope with sitting in the fear of that that's actually what we're looking at libra oh my goodness okay michael any further messages pertaining to the situation for my libras knight of swords it may be painful there's going to be a very straight Blunt conversation. Ace of Pentacles. What you're saying to this person is you have spent years growing your financial stability from scratch. Blood, sweat and tears, maybe for 10, 20 years, Libra. And if you marry this person, no matter how much you love them, if it all goes wrong, you would lose half of what you've built for yourself and you can't bear it. You can't face it. Seven of Wands. Libra, it's very difficult, but you're going to put up boundaries. Whatever you find out about this person, Libra, is going to make you feel very, very worried. Now, it could be that... You know, you're introduced to their family. It could be that maybe, in the nicest sense, they're living in poverty. They don't have anything. And this is you thinking, oh my goodness, and I'm sat in the Ten of Pentacles. And this little seed of doubt, Libra, is going to fester and fester and fester, and it's going to come out. This may just be for one or two people, but Libra, you're going to be honest. You're going to say, I love you. I want to be with you, but I don't want a legal contract between us or to get really serious. I can't risk it because I would lose everything. This is quite a shocking end of 2023 for some of you. But you may be surprised of what actually comes out of your mouth if this person 
does, for instance, propose. You may say yes initially, and then you're going to be thinking, oh my God, no, 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 no. What if it all goes under? What if, what if, what if, what if? No. I'm dealing with somebody here who has really been through the mill. You could have been penniless at some point, Libra, and nobody helped you, nobody supported you, and you have built whatever you've built for yourself from the ground up. And if you are introduced to this person's family and you find they're on the breadline, this is you filled with terror. I've got to be blunt. I would love to say, Libra, that you would open up your bank account. You would say, oh, for goodness sake, love is love. But I'm dealing here with somebody who's really been through it. And Libra, I don't think you could face the fact that if this went under, you could lose half of your hard-earned savings. You're just too nervous. So my goodness, let's get some messages. What is the advice from the Divine Michael? Thank you. Loyalty. The Divine is saying, Libra, this person would be loyal to you. They may want to prove that in three months. So this would be by March. So this would be by March 2024. Libra, they're saying, let your guard down. This is your chance for happiness. You love this person. They love you. Oh, Libra. But this is the sticking point. This is what this is all about. Maybe, Libra, they're telling you to be totally honest with this person. Question their intentions. <sighs> okay, Libra. That's all we have. Let's get messages from the divine. Here we go. This is Rebecca Campbell, Work Your Light. And we're going to be dipping into that deck, first of all, to ask the angels for their guidance. Here we go. Archangel Michael, can we have guidance, please, for my beautiful Libras? This is 2023 for Libra. Thank you, Michael. The age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. You are a light worker, whoever you are. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Unbound. Releasing soul patterns, contracts and past lives. Maybe you had a past life with this person and this is a soul contract that is closing out. Protection. Interesting. Call back your power. Cut the cords. Soul retrieval. The crumbling. What are you clinging on to, Libra? In a temple, devotion, tune in to the portal of your heart. That's a lot for you to think about, Libra. Are you clinging on to fear? Was this a soul contract? You will know if this is your story. Sacred Forest, Denise Lynn. Archangel Michael, may we have some extra advice from the angels and the archangels for Libra for 2023? Thank you. Trust, Crystal Cave. Trust in the divine, trust in the light. Trust you're on the right path. Crystal Cave is also protection. Transcending. Transcend fear, doubt, worry with a two and an eight, which is ten. You're closing out a cycle and your light worker gifts may well be developing. Okay. 
Archangel Michael, can we have a last message from you, please, for my beautiful Libras to close out this reading? Thank you. Sense of humour. Okay, let's lighten the atmosphere, Libra. Thank you for helping me see the humour in this situation so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I'm willing to view my experience in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy. Michael's asked me to pull another one. Okay, unusual. Shield yourself. Archangel Michael, I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my vehicle and my home with your powerful shield. Surround us in your purple light, which allows only pure love to penetrate. Please stay with me day and night and keep my loved ones and me safe. The advice from the divine is to close out this karmic situation, this soul contract, release contracts, call back your power, cut the cords and shield yourself. This seems to be a powerful message from the divine Libra that if you do decide to move away from this person and the situation, it could be the divine is supporting that decision. Okay, so Libra. I'm going to leave it there. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Libra.